You know, I think one of the hardest jobs here in Grenada, Mississippi has got to be being a guide. Folks, you remember Blake? How y'all doing? Blake's back in the house. We going fishing. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's right, folks. We're back on Grenada and with my main man, Blake Cook. Check him out at Blake Cook Fishing. Folks, we're going to put some monster slabs in the boat. We're going to look at live scope, but check out that hog. Yes, you're going to have to watch the episode to see how that bad boy was caught. We're on Grenada, folks, home of the three pound fish. We're gonna put some big fish in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. I watch all these guys walk off the, go off the lake and you can just tell it wasn't a great day of fishing. <laughs> the wind makes it tough. I don't think I've ever fished here in, in the evening hours. I call these the evening hours, Blake. It can be really good if the wind will cooperate well i better put some big fish in the boat so if you recall from the last episodes way in the back maybe i'll even link one up here i don't know <laughs> but blake and i met at an american crappie trail event a long time ago well maybe only two years ago i guess and then we became buddies over over the phone and all that other good stuff so he is i believe you're born and raised in grenada I'm I'm originally from Winona. Winona. Winona, 20 miles south of here, and uh, sorry about that. My my wife works at the school here. My kids go to school here, so we moved up here the past year, and uh, that's what we call home now. So, Blake guides on the lake, so if you're interested, I'll put his information there as well. So we're gonna have a good time today. It's gonna be a good time. You got a new boat, Blake? I'm impressed. It's a Skeeter. So you'll see all around that and we'll show you some live scoping. Now folks, this is a new experience for three pound fishing. Never have I fished Grenada in the evening. We do a lot of tournaments on Grenada, but never do they last this long. Obviously tournaments get over at three o'clock. This is an evening trip with my main man, Blake Cook. We've been trying to get, you know, fishing together for a long time. We've been talking a lot on the phone. We talk a lot in person. And uh, today, this is the first maiden voyage with Blake's me and him a, in the boat. A 12 inch, looks like a 1222. I'm assuming it's a 1222 or 1242. Yep. One of the two. So, probably the most popular monitor on the trails, without a doubt. Cost point, size, everybody loves the dial. Blake would love, say, I love my dial. Blake would tell you the same thing. And then he's got a Helix 9 down below, which is actually what I use for my mapping as well. Something small gets it out of the way. So that's the setup. I see it. The magic twist. Do you got have you gone to lithium yet? I have not. I need to. Do you stare at that, that voltmeter? My voltage actually goes down rather quickly. Uh, <laughs> it does. Uh, I will fish 90% of the day below 12 volts. <laughs> uh, and I got two parallel back there. I just haven't, I haven't really checked in to see if uh, if one of them is going to bat on me or not. Because I should be running more than 12 volts with two of them parallel. It's amazing. It's like it's a freedom when you when you get lithium. I'm just telling you. Or maybe your boat gets wired up correctly. I've seen boats that don't have lithium and they they don't seem to ever lose a, a drop of voltage. But the lithium was a freedom for me. It was like not having to worry about it anymore. So. Exactly. Stick the hook in is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> That's big. And we're going to flip them in. We're going to flip them in. <laughs> That's a pig. <laughs> That's what you come to Grenada Lake for. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Way to put me on him, Blake. Huge. Yeah, now we gotta find about 20 more. The new, you know, all my videos have been now about casting. So I realized I was catching more fish if I cast maybe two months ago. 
And so then I come down here and I realize everybody's casting. Yeah. Like they had it, they had it figured out too. That you can catch more fish rather than trying to get up on them by staying back and casting. And you guys are way more sharp shooting it than I have to. I mean, I'm just trying to get structure pretty much. I'll yank one or two out of there. Yeah, these are, uh, you're chasing individual fish here on the run, in the waves. Uh, it don't matter which way the wind blows on Grenada. Uh, seven out of ten days it's gonna be wavy here. <laughs> so you gotta be a little more precise. You can wanna write down on. At the top one. Oh, the bottom one. I think uh, I like evening fishing on Grenada. Can we do some tournaments in the evening? I like it. It's more relaxing. i tell you this. Fish seem to be a little bit more active. That's a small guy. Small guys are always going to take it from the big guys. But that one might be small too. They were sitting together, it looked like one big fish. I'll tell you what, I fish Grenada a ton. And I can tell you that an evening fish on Grenada is probably the most enjoyable experience I've ever had. Relaxing, less boats, it's cool. I get to spend the, the day in the boat with Blake, which I think is just a fantastic guy. I can't, I always, I just enjoy our talks constantly. And we talked the entire evening. Um, but we were on the search for a big fish and man, he was persistent and we kept looking. This is, I mean, this is what we were doing, just grinding, looking for the fish the entire time. And we stumbled across a monster. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, you got one. That's hilarious. That is absolutely a tank. Two forty. Summertime fish. <laughs> oh, that's so what you come to Grenada Lake for. That fish is. Let's see how long this fish is. 16 and a half inches long. Wow. He's coming. He's coming. Yep. And that's the honest truth. I mean, it wasn't the most aggressive bite I've ever seen on Grenada. There's no doubt about that. They'd follow it. They might not take it. But at the end of the day, the fish that we were catching was such quality. And, and that's what you can't get away from a grenade. I mean, you want to keep going back because you know when you stick one, it's going to be a good fish. I'm interested about that bait right there. Right there. We're going to give it a try. Muddy water bait? Muddy water. Big old grenade lake crappie. I think there's another one. Yeah. Get him right there. There you go. There you are. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. He's straight out front. Here, right there. Yeah, you ain't got in the water. That's what you come to Grenada Lake for right there. <laughs> he followed it. Lake's on fire. Get a bigger one? Yeah, yeah let's try it. <laughs> Check it.
check this out folks check out the beautiful sunset going downtown right there it's just gonna get more beautiful I think this is the first time I've ever fished Grenada at night evening something else so one of the one of the great things to do at Grenada Lake is to wade fish do you do wade fishing I do it can be some of the funnest fishing you've ever done. I call it hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> you have ever have guide trips that request that? Um, sometimes you get you get some folks that's, that's heard about it and they really want to do it. As long as you don't show them the live scope beforehand, you. <laughs> yeah, all right. True. So when you wade fish, are you throwing a float? Um, some people would, will actually fish with a float. Um, depending on the water level, sometimes you may use, you know, if you're having to get way back in the thicket, you may go down to a 9 or 10 foot pole uh, and just jig fish trees, vines, you know, whatever structure you think the fish are on. But if it's we hadn't seen this water level in a few years. If it's a normal year, you know, you can go to back to 11, 12, 15 bowl and fish steak beds and stuff like that. But that's been, we got a little portion of that this year before the water jumped, but it didn't, it wasn't, it was very short lived. Let's see that down there. Mm -hmm. that's good. You know what makes half of what makes Grenada fun is I like the town too. I mean, it's got some decent places to eat. You know, um, never had a problem finding a place to stay. Um, It'll be a smaller town. We got a bunch of hotels. Enjoying the scenery. You mean I get to look at the lake? Not a screen. <laughs> wow! Thanks, Blake. That was awesome. It was a good time. He just didn't cooperate that gram, but we caught a few. Caught a few good ones. So if you guys are interested, check out Blake Cook fishing. Give me a call. We'll go fishing. Awesome dude. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, all that great stuff. Tell them to subscribe, Blake. Subscribe. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.